How's it going, David from Comic Book Investments? So in this video, we're gonna look at five keys that are going up in price, heating up, and some of them going up by quite a bit, 838%. That is ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen something go up that high. And it was only in a, four, a few short months, uh, maybe like eight months, but still, that is a ton. But some of these you need to sell, especially at these prices, and I don't think they're good long-term investments. I'll go into all of that with you here in a bit. So let's just jump right into it. All right, first we got a Spider-Man, the golden record reprint. A lot of people ask me to do the reprints. So here's one of them. A 6.0 is up 41% from 8.40 to 11.88. And a 6.5 is up 26 from 7.10 to 8.95. Yes, I know it's weird to go from a a 6.5 is actually went for less than a 6.0. But then the 9.2 is up 55% from 16.78 to 2,600. And that is an all time record for that price. Um, these books are very interesting because I remember when, when I first started this business years and years ago, years ago, they went for fractions of a fractions of a fractions of what, you know, the counterpart went for but now that the counterpart the real mccoy is up like way too much like the first printings they're up so high most people can't afford it so they're jumping into these types of books so these are actually very very good um if you would ask me like five or ten years ago if these were really good i'd be like eh, they're okay but i think they're really good now just because a lot of there's you know, getting, there's like, so Spider-Man 1, there's Avengers 4, Fantastic Four number 1, uh, and Journey Mystery 83. I think those are the ones. How they chose those ones, don't know. But uh, there's no Hulk 1 or Fans 15. But anyways, and they came with a record, and you can listen to the record of the, of the story. And, but now that the first printings are so expensive, that these have really gone up in value quite a bit. And I think they're, pretty good investments, uh, in my personal opinion. And yeah, so a lot of people request, like I always say, request down below, put a comment if there's something you want me to look up and I'll try to get to it. But this was heavily requested, but I was going to do it in the next video. So I kind of avoided them, um, on that one where I went through like 40 different books. All right, next we got Superman and authority. Number one, uh, a nine, eight, is up 838% from $8 to $75. Look at that graph. I think when it first jumped out of the gate, it was selling for, I think, around like $60. So it's still up from when it was right out of the gate, but still going up. The reason why is this is the first appearance of a new team of Authority, and Authority is supposed to show up in Superman Legacy. That movie's not gonna come out until probably like 2025. I know, I was just watching James Gunn's, um, he was on, Lex Luthor's podcast, uh, Michael Rosenbaum, I think his name is, uh, he has a po podcast. I was literally just listening to it before I did this video as I was making these little graphs and pretty interesting. Uh, I like listening to him from time to time when he has good guests. I listened to all the Star Trek ones he had on recently, each, uh, actor, but anyways, uh, James Gunn says they are narrowing down who they're going to play for Superman. So they haven't decided on anyone yet. Said, do not listen to any of the rumors. They're all lies. So if someone comes out and said, they've cast it so-and-so, it's all lies. Uh, probably he's down to a dozen actors that he's looking at. Probably went from a huge lot down to a little bit. And so they haven't cast Superman. So this movie is not going to come out until, what are we, in 2023? Maybe 2025. Because he has a script written. And which is good because if he wrote the script, he's not going to do a bunch of rewrites and all that kind of stuff. Maybe like little tweaks here and there, but not rewrites where most scripts fall into like Blade where they've done a million different rewrites, new directors, the new director comes on, new script, we need a brand new script. I'm like, he's a vampire killer. He's also half vampire. It's not that complicated. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, so something like this, I would sell now. I would sell now. Um, it's probably going to push up a little more, but before this, it sold for eight dollars. Eight dollars for a nine eight. Now, the reason why there's no nine six or nine fours on here because none have sold because it's a modern book. They just that's how it is. Um, most books are going to be nine eight, and if you have a nine six, it's probably a dollar if it went to an auction. So this is uh, this is not something I see as a long term at all. Not even close. 
Um, it's not in the first appearance of the authority to begin with. So, yeah, I would, and I think they only made one issue of this book. Came out in 2021. So just sell it now. Maybe whatever you can get for it if you have one. Um, if you suspect you have a 9.8 and it's raw, I would recommend casing it. And then by the time it gets back, because I think moderns for CGC are probably around the three to four month mark. You might be able to get your money back. That's a, that's a hard thing is because it's going to cost you 40 to $50 to send that thing in to get graded plus shipping there and back. So that's a kind of a risky thing, but I think you could probably get your money back. Um, or I just sell it raw. Maybe you can get like 20 bucks for it uncased $25, something like that. But it's not long term. All right, next we got G.I. Joe and Transformers number one. This is the first appearance that the G.I. Joe and Transformers hung out together and had coffee and tea. Uh, a 9.4 is up 150% from 42 to 105. A 9.6 is up 335 from uh, 46 to 200. And a 9.8 is up 100% from 200 to 400. Um, so I'm just going to spoil it for you. Um, it's been out for, what, two weeks now? Uh, and Because I kind of have to in <laughs> order to make this video work. So at the end... Cred set it, end uh, cred scene. Um, Transformers and GI Joe's are going to team up um, for their next movie. Do I think that movie will get made? I mean, Transformers. What are we? Is five or six something like that? Uh, is not doing too well at the box office. Mm -mm, not very good at all. Um, I haven't seen it, but I stopped watching Transformers ages ago. So I think number three, I fell asleep, and then that was it. This need more robot fighting. I don't care about the stupid humans. Stop with the stupid humans. They really this. Stop making the humans the main point in the story. No one cares. Make them the side characters where you, they're just kind of there, um, and they get killed from the Transformers in their battles. That's what they should. They should just make it rated R. I don't want to see the PG thirteen uh, Transformers anymore. I want a rated R one. I want to see people dying constantly. I want to see a big battle and massive fighting. I do not need to, especially since these robots talk. So it's not like they're, uh, it's not like Godzilla where he doesn't really talk and have a story arc. He just kind of comes and destroys and types the things, right? Um, I mean, it's a little bit of story, but since the robots can talk, they can have their own dialogue and drama amongst themselves. So I don't know if this movie will ever get made. I mean, G.I. Joe's, any movie that's come out has been terrible and box office bombs. So they got that against it. And then this new Transformers is like, not doing too well. So who knows if it will ever get made. But if it did, it's not going to happen for three to four years. So, yeah. Next, we've got Spider-Punk number two. This first appearance of Taskmaster, but this alternate universe type one. 9-8 uh, is up 327% from $26, which sold back in 2022. Because this movie, uh, comic came out like mid-2022 and not very many sales. Um, and then all of a sudden it spiked up. Uh, yeah. So up to someone bought one for $111. Does that mean it's worth $111? Uh, I don't know. Just some, someone randomly bought one for that price. Do I think this is a good long term? No, I do not. I do not. I do not at all. Um, I mean, literally sold for... Out of the gate, looks like it sold for like 35, then jumped up to like probably 154, I think it jumped up to, one sold for, and then back down. And then no one really cared for almost a year. No one even bought one. So it's not moving. It's not selling. One just person just happened to buy it. If you have it, I would use this information and try to get rid of your copy. And yeah, that's what I would do. If Unless you like the book. If you like these books and you don't care about the price, then who cares? Just keep the book. But if you want to ride the wave and get the most you can for this book, do it. Because you have any idea how many times I get collections in from people that it's like all these modern, new, nickel age, even like, you know, copper age, bronze age, stuff like that, like newer books. Um, bronze age is old, obviously. But um, newer books, just tons of them long boxes full of books from like the 2000s and the 90s and they're all not worth anything and it's like i mean if you bought them even they're worth less than cover price and that's just a sad reality unless you want to put it up and sit on it for like five years until someone comes along and pays you like six dollars for it you know i'll just put it in an auction it'll sell for like two bucks a dollar 
three dollars stuff like that so this book is going to head that way so it'll just be one of those books that in like five ten years you'll sell your collection i will get it and i'm like uh i can give you 50 cents for this book because i'm gonna sell it for a dollar so yeah that's where it'll go i mean maybe not this book particularly but oh, they'll probably sell for like five bucks but yeah that's probably what's going to happen so ride the wave now and sell it unless you like it then keep it all right, Amazing Spider-Man 238, first appearance of Hobgoblin. A 9.0 is down 36% from 405 to 550. A 9.2 is down 29% from 388 to 500. And a 9.4 is down 27% from 453 to 576. When I was looking, because I'm always constantly pricing stuff, and I came across this uh, Hobgoblin, and I was like pricing it, and I was, or I was looking at the prices, and I was like, why is it randomly go up? Okay, it's just one. Just one's randomly going up. Every, you know, most of it's going down. Like a big spike. You look at this. Whoosh, whoosh. And so I was like, okay, let me look at a couple of other prices. And oh, up. This have this uptick. I'm like, okay, they must have announced something. Hobgoblin's going to be the new villain in Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland. That's going to happen. Okay, so that's what we're going to get into. I looked. I couldn't find anything other than like some speculation and rumors that were months old. So I'm like... I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you one bit why this is spiking. I can tell you it's the Hobgoblin. It's a great book, but I can't tell you why it's spiking at this particular moment. Not just a little bit, but quite a bit. So I'm basically useless. I'm sure someone out there knows, or I mean, I guarantee you most of it's just going to be speculation and rumors like, oh, well, I heard this and this and this. We'll see. I mean, I know Ned Leeds is his best friend, but I don't I can't see him being a villain, especially the Hobgoblin. So unless it's an alternate universe one where it's a completely different actor. So I just don't see it happening. It would. Yeah, I just <laughs> I just don't see it. So that's the nicest way I can put it. So I don't know. And Spider-Man 4 is supposed to come out in 2025 and it's supposed to be Tom Holland's last movie. So they'll probably want to wrap up a nice little bow on it. So I doubt they'll turn his best friend into the Hobgoblin. Um, good, but we'll see. That'll be it. Have a great weekend.